Morris Memorial Auditorium, Des Moines, Iowa, March 11, 1967. The finals of the Iowa Girls High School Basketball Tournament. A sellout crowd of 15,000 is gathered to watch the top two teams in Iowa Girls Basketball battle it out for the state championship. The last two members of the Sweet 16 who came to Des Moines for the tournament five days ago. A tournament which has drawn a total of close to 75,000 fans for its five-day run. Small wonder that Iowa has earned for itself the title of Queen State of Girls High School Basketball. Tonight, these fans will be joined by many thousands more, watching on a vast television network, reaching into nine Midwest states. And the game they are about to witness will bring together those two classic ingredients of a championship contest, a great offense versus a great defense. The teams are South Hamilton of Jewel and Minneapolis. South Hamilton from Central Iowa won the title two years ago and boasts an offense that nine times went over the 80-point mark during the regular season. Minneapolis, an undefeated contender from Southeast Iowa, comes into the game with an airtight defense that allowed its opponents an average of only 37 points a game during the season. First, before the championship game, let's take a look at the rest of the Sweet 16 who battled their way into the state finals from all sections of Iowa in the traditional parade of champions. A Southern Iowa team that made its second appearance in the long history of girls basketball. They won 23 of 25 games they played from Eddyville, coach Bob Morrissey and the Rockettes. This is a young team with a promise of good seasons ahead. Winners of 25 of 27 games, coach Harold Shepard and the Lady Danes of Elkhorn Kimbleton School. Almost a byword in tournament appearances, this school has sent teams into the state finals nine times starting in 1936. And the coach has had three tournament teams himself. Coaches Leon Plummer, Max Livingston, and the Admiralettes of Farragut. This team won the Cedar Wapsie Conference crown and finished the year with 23 wins, four losses. Coach Jerry Newton and the Falconettes of Fredericksburg. The number one ranking team in the state all season and unbeaten when they came here. Coach Les Heiser and the Hawks from Hubbard. This team made its second appearance in recent years of the tournament and gives promise of returning next year. Coach Ed Kogenauer and the Pantherettes of Kingsley Pearson. Just 53 girls attend this school, but the team has come a long way. This makes the fifth state tournament trip for this club. Coach Tom Corrick and the Gohawks of Lout. This school marks its fourth appearance in the state tournament field, the first time dating way back to 1937. Coach Dwayne Brand and the Hawkheads from Linville Sully. This school rolled up an impressive record for the season, despite having no girl over five feet six in the forward court. From West Central Iowa, with a season record of 18 wins, five losses, coach Bernard Robinson and the Hawkettes of Fenora Linden. A young team, it graduates only four seniors. This school won the West Central Conference crown and was undefeated going into the quarterfinals of state. The Rockettes of Peyton Chardin and coach Paul Trost. This Northwest Iowa school has been in the state tournament three times in recent years. Coach Les Lammers and the Pocahontas Majors. An impressive record for this school and Northeast Iowa. Tournament trips in 1960, 61, 63, 64, and 67. Coach Milton Mose and the Tigers of Valley High of Elgin. There you have it, the parade of champions, the teams that made it down the tournament trail to the final field of 16. In the consolation game just preceding the parade of champions, Everly, which won the title a year ago, took third place honors with a 76 to 46 victory over Carlisle. Jeanette Olson led the way with 50 points, bringing her season's total for 31 games to 1,586 points, an all-time record. Now the big moment has finally arrived, the championship game between South Hamilton and Minneapolis, a meeting that has whetted the appetite of this basketball-hungry crowd, anxious to see what a great offense can do against a great defense with a championship at stake. The great offense belongs to South Hamilton. These young ladies came back after a sectional defeat to battle their way through the district and first three rounds of the state tournament in impressive fashion, hitting over 90 points in two of the games and over 80 in two others. South Hamilton's Sharon Tyler deserves the title of Miss Everything in this tournament. A 5'8 senior, Sharon led her team in scoring during the season with an average of 42 and a half points a game. She's averaged better than 46 points a game in three games so far at state. She set an all-time competitive free throw record by sinking 21 straight in South Hamilton's first round game. And earlier today, she won the state free throw contest by hitting 24 of 25. Sherry Hansen is South Hamilton's second leading scorer for the season. A five foot seven junior, Sherry scored 442 points and is also a fine player out on the court. 
The South Hamilton guard court is led by Donna Paulson, a five foot ten senior. Donna and her co-workers in the backcourt, Joanne Hansen and Debbie Flagstad, held South Hamilton opponents to an average of less than 50 points a game during the season. Minneapolis, located on the Mississippi River in extreme southeast Iowa, is an all-veteran team that ripped through 28 straight opponents getting to the championship tonight, winning by an average margin of 33 points a game during the regular season. Nancy Sheridan spearheads the well-balanced Minneapolis front court. A senior standing only five feet four, Nancy makes up for her lack of height with great speed and quickness, which enabled her to average close to 22 points a game during the season. Kathy Schmeiser, a five foot seven senior, is averaging 18 points a game, and with Nancy, forms a potent one-two punch in the Bullets' attack. The Minneapolis guard court is something to behold. All tournament guard Cheryl Wishmeyer is only a junior, but she plays like a postgraduate. Standing five feet ten, she has an uncanny knack of being where the ball is and tying hot shooting forwards in knots. Joyce Campbell, a five foot six and a half inch senior, probably will draw the assignment of guarding South Hamilton's Sharon Tyler, and this should be a great battle. Mary Jo Wiegand, at five feet nine, rounds out the Minneapolis backcourt, which held six opponents to 28 or fewer points during the season. Now the introduction of the starting lineups. For South Hamilton in the light uniforms at forward. Number 42, Sharon Tyler, five feet eight and a senior. Number 22, Sherry Hansen, five feet seven and a junior. Number 52, Delene Hansen, five feet eight and a freshman. At guard for South Hamilton, number 54, Donna Paulson, five feet 10 and a senior. Number 30, Joanne Hansen, five feet seven and a senior. Number 40, Debbie Flagstad, five feet seven and a senior. Coach, Dick Rasmussen. For Minneapolis in the dark uniforms, at forward. Number 13, Nancy Sheridan, five feet four and a senior. Number 53, Kathy Schmeiser, five feet seven and a senior. Number 21, Ellen Mahaffey, five feet five and a junior. At guard for Minneapolis, number 55, Joyce Campbell, five feet six and a half and a senior. Number 23, Mary Jo Wiegand, five feet nine and a senior. Number 51, Cheryl Wishmeyer, five feet 10 and a junior. The coach is Vern McLearn. Now we're all set for the start of the game. And we bring you the play-by-play -play exactly as reported on our live telecast of the game on WHO TV, Des Moines, with a commentary by yours truly, Jim Zobel. Ball is put into play in the Minneapolis forecourt and Nancy Sheridan, number 13. Schmeiser, Sheridan, and Mahaffey. Kathy Schmeiser, the fourth leading scorer in the tournament, shoots and scores, and it's now two to nothing, Minneapolis taking the early lead. Sharon Tyler comes right back. Tyler has 140 points in three games to date. She averaged about 42 points a game during the season, 43. Coming right back, a drive-in shot by Ellen Mahaffey. Four to two, Minneapolis leading. Tyler with the ball. Over to Sherry Hansen. Interception. Minneapolis guard court, which held its opponent to only 37 points as an average. Joyce Campbell coming up with that interception. Sheridan with the right side now. Mahaffey. Two fine guard courts battling it out. Paulson, Hansen, and Flagstad in the backcourt for South Hamilton. Sharon Tyler, Sherry Hansen. Ball is stolen away by Cheryl Wishmeyer. Five foot ten inch postcard. Sheridan. Mahaffey back to Sheridan again. Mahaffey, this time the rebound is picked up by South Hamilton. Coming up with it, Donna Paulson. Sharon Tyler over to Sherry Hanson, back to Tyler. Tyler to Hanson. Tyler. Tightly guarded out there. Hanson. Still in the forecourt. Daylene Hanson of South Hamilton is the other forward. 52, Sherry Hanson scores. And it's tied now at four. 5.58. Left to go in the opening quarter of the championship game. Nancy Sheridan on the right side. Back to Sheridan again. 
And he travels with the ball. It'll be put in play in the South Hamilton guard court. Donna Paulson, Joanne Hanson, and Debbie Flagstad are the guards. Sherry Hanson to Sharon Tyler. Hanson. Mary Jill Wigan on the rebound. And a foul is called on number 52, Deline Hanson. Sheridan will be at the line. Looking for her first point of the night. Four to four is the score. South Hamilton against Minneapolis. Sheridan's first point. Minneapolis takes a five to four lead. South Hamilton's guards trying to put the ball into play. Flagstad uh, couldn't control it. It goes out of bounds. Now Mahaffey will throw it in for Minneapolis. The bullets have it. Sheridan into the pivot. And attempting that fall away jumper with Schmeiser. Rebounded by Joanne Hanson across the line to Sherry Hanson. Sharon Tyler. Attempting a shot underneath and a foul called on number 23, Mary Jo Wagon. Two shot foul. Daylene Hanson will be at the line. The tie game, five to five. 5.13 left to play in the first quarter. All right, going up for the rebound. One of the top guards in this tournament, Mary Jo Wagon. Sheridan plays catch out there with Schmeiser. Ball is picked up by Joanne Hanson, and the pass comes a little bit too hard. Sharon Tyler couldn't hold on to it. Joyce Campbell will put it in play for Minneapolis. Schmeiser with the ball. Sheridan. Sheridan. This is everything with the shot, but the rebound is picked up by Schmeiser. Back out to Sheridan again. And the ball loose. Out of bounds. We're going to award it into Minneapolis. Sheridan with it. A happy. To Schmeiser. With the blows, foul called for charging on Mahaffey. Offensive foul. Now we have an injury problem, I believe, in the backcourt. Donna Paulson. Apparently has some trouble with her contact lenses. I guess she's okay. Paulson will throw the ball in. Debbie Flagstaff. Joanne Hanson. Sharon Tyler. Tyler again with the ball. Trying to box in Tyler, prevent her from shooting. Daylene Hanson. Back to Tyler. Out to Sherry Hanson. Tyler travels with the ball. Score tied at five. 4.18 left to go in the first quarter. Wishmeyer throws it in to Campbell and now a bounce pass across the line. Sheridan plays catch up there with Mahaffey. Sheridan behind the double screen. Donna Paulson and Joanne Hanson and Debbie Flagstead, the guards, work it up. To Sharon Tyler. Sherry Hanson back to Tyler. Both teams pretty cold on their shooting right now. Rebounded by Wishmeyer. Campbell, Nancy Sheridan, Sheridan trying to drive in, the bucket won't count, and a foul is on Debbie Flagstead, that's her first, so Nancy Sheridan has a chance to break this five to five tie, six to five, Minneapolis, with 3.37 to play in the first quarter. Heavy flag set. Ball almost deflected and stolen away by Sheridan. Joanne Hanson. Now to Sherry Hanson. Daylene back to Sherry again. Sherry rebounds the shot. Sharon Tyler. 
They're two-timing Tyler when she has the ball. Terry Hansen. Ball is stolen away once again by the guards of Minneapolis. Whistle blows, and a foul is called on number 22, Terry Hansen. Six to five, Minneapolis, and at the line will be Nancy Sheridan. Nancy is looking for her first field goal. Picked up on the rebound by Debbie Flagstead of South Hamilton. Score remains six to five, Minneapolis. Sharon Tyler travels with the ball. Goes over to Joyce Campbell of Minneapolis. The bullet out of the backcourt. Happy Sheridan play catch. Kathy Schmeiser back to Sheridan. It's the underside rebounded by Donna Paulson. Tyler. Tyler to Sherry Hanson and Sherry is fouled by number 23 Mary Jo Wigan. Coming into the ball game now is Denise Berry, number 20. Replacing Daylene Hanson. Denise is 5 feet 11. She's only a ninth grader, 14 years old. Tyler scored 976 points during the regular season. Terry Hanson scored 442. Score tied now at 6 to 6. Minneapolis in four court. Nancy Sheridan. Happy. Back to Sheridan. Her first field goal, Nancy Sheridan, makes it 8 to 6 in favor of Minneapolis. 2.20 to go in the first quarter. Tyler comes right back with a bucket. Tyler now has four points on two field goals. 2.10 to go in the quarter. Sheridan to Schmeiser, back to Sheridan again. Happy. Sheridan. Tries to bounce pass into Spicer. The ball is loose. Sheridan comes back with it. A happy to Spicer. Tries a shot. Follow through shot is good. See, they're going to count it. Foul is called on Hanson. They do count the shot. So it's now 10 to 8. Spicer will be at the line. Paulson goes up to take the rebound. A great guard here for South Hamilton. So Ann Hanson. Across the line to Sherry Hanson. To Denise Berry. Back to Sherry again. Sharon Tyler. Ball is almost uh, taken away and a foul is called. On Minneapolis. Cheryl Wishmeyer, number 51. Barry is at the line. Cheryl Wishmeyer stands 5 feet 10. She's 16 and a junior. Score remains 10 to 8. It'll be played in by Minneapolis. Wishmeyer puts it in. Nancy Sheridan. My happy. Schmeiser. Back to Sheridan again. Schmeiser. Schmeiser picking up her six points. Minneapolis leads 12 to 8. 114 left to go in the first quarter. Barry to Sherry Hanson. Sharon Tyler. Back out to Denise Barry. Bank shot Barry. Boy, she almost made that one. Now in the forecourt for Minneapolis. By Happy to Schmeiser. Sheridan. Trying to drive in along the baseline, and Mahaffey is fouled by number 30, Joanne Hanson. Second foul on Hanson. Mahaffey shoots the one and one, which is now in effect in the Minneapolis end of the court. Minneapolis 13, South Hamilton 8. 47 seconds to go in the first quarter. Donna Paulson grabs the rebound for South Hamilton. Jerry Hanson to Tyler, back to Hanson again. Tyler, being closely guarded out there. Denise Berry, 
Now Hamilton with the rebound. Tyler has the ball batted away from her by Cheryl Wishmeyer. Foul number two on Wishmeyer. Karen Tyler now gets two shots. 29 seconds to go in the first quarter. Tyler won the state free throw contest this morning with 24 out of 25. Five points now for Sharon Tyler. Make it six. 13 to 10, a three-point lead for Minneapolis. Wishmeyer to Sheridan. A happy. Nancy Sheridan. And giving him just one shot now. Nice rebounding job by Joanne Hanson. The ball almost uh, intercepted by Mahaffey. South Hamilton will get it out of bounds. Sherry Hanson throws it in to Tyler. Hanson. To Tyler. And there is the end of the first quarter with the score of Minneapolis 13, South Hamilton 10. At the end of the first quarter, both teams are cold. But the Minneapolis defense is making itself felt also, holding South Hamilton to three goals and 11 tries from the field. Minneapolis made five of 15, but Kathy Schmeiser picked up some of the slack by going three for six. Now the second quarter. South Hamilton 10, the girls state championship. Sharon Tyler, one of the great players in recent girls basketball history out there, number 42 with the ball. Over to Hanson, back to Tyler. And Tyler very cold on her shooting. Right now, Hanson with the rebound, however. Ferry, they battled for the rebound, and it's going to be Minneapolis out of the backcourt. Wichmeyer, Wigan. Schmeiser, back to Schmeiser again. Sheridan, whistle blows, and a foul, it's called, on Schmeiser. As she collides with Paulson. Ball will be put in play by South Hamilton's Paulson. Sharon Tyler has it. To Hanson. Tyler. And as she goes up for the shot, we'll see what happens. They call a traveling violation on her, I guess. Move your pivot foot. Sheridan with the ball. Sheridan shoots the goal. Nancy Sheridan now with six points. A five-point lead for Minneapolis, 15 to 10. One minute gone from the start of the second quarter. Denise Berry. Sharon Tyler retrieves the ball over to Hanson. Back to Berry. Having trouble with the guards of Minneapolis uh, getting in between the gals on their passes. Berry Hanson. Tyler. Hanson, underneath, rebounded by Joyce Campbell, Minneapolis. Sheridan has it. Schmeiser, back to Nancy Sheridan. Here's Schmeiser, shooting and scoring. Kathy Schmeiser, Minneapolis now leading by seven points, 17 to 10. 6.20 to go. Sharon Tyler. Back to Tyler again. Wishmeyer guarding and Wagon up there and near the bucket. Tyler. Once again, fails to go through the hoop. And the rebound picked up by Wagon. Mahaffey over to Nancy Sheridan. Schmeiser. Back to Sheridan. Schmeiser gets the rebound but then loses it. She got her hand on the ball, taken away by Debbie Flagstead. Pass intercepted by Wishmeyer of Minneapolis. Nancy Sheridan to Mahaffey, to Sheridan. Schmeiser, guarded by Donna Paulson. Back to Schmeiser again. Ball rolls through, looked like it wasn't going to be good, but it was. A nine-point lead now for Minneapolis. And... South Hamilton calls timeout with the score, Minneapolis 19, South Hamilton 10. Minneapolis has now pulled out to a nine-point lead, 19 to 10. 
With 5.17 left to go in the first half. The ball will be put in play in the forecourt of South Hamilton wearing the light uniform. Tyler to Hampton. Back to Tyler again. Tyler just can't seem to find that mark. The rebound is picked up by Denise Berry. Sherry Hampton. And Berry once again makes a great save on the ball. Out to Hampton. Over to Tyler. Top of the circle. Tyler finally drove one home. Gets her eight points. Eight points now for Tyler. 19 to 12 score. Mediapolis to the ball in four court. Nancy Sheridan on the left side to Mahaffey. Back out in front to Sheridan again. And Kathy Smyser once again picks up her 12 points. 21 to 12 score. Mediapolis leading. Tyler with the ball for South Hamilton. Hanson. Tyler. Back to Hanson again. Denise Berry. Hanson. Tyler. Layup by Tyler. He now has 10 points. 21 to 14. 413 left to go in the first half. Kathy Schmeiser to Nancy Sheridan. Sheridan on the right side. Back out in front. Mahaffey on the drive. Banks it off there beautifully. Mahaffey now with five points. 23 to 14, a nine point lead for Minneapolis. Sharon Tyler. 3.51 left to go in the first half. Hanson. Wishmeyer up to grab the rebound, and she's fouled by Denise Berry. So the shot, free throw, will be shot on the front court of Minneapolis. South Hamilton coming down here for the record of 22 and 4. They were the champs two years ago. And Sharon Tyler was a sophomore on that team a few years ago. Great player then, even better now. Nancy Sheridan. 24 to 14, a 10 point lead for Minneapolis. 3.45 to play first half. 11 point lead for Minneapolis. Sheridan now has eight points. The guards bring it down. Joanne Hanson to Sherry Hanson to Sharon Tyler. Hanson. Back to Tyler. To Hanson. Barry. Interesting to know how this guard court of Minneapolis is working. There are two timing. The gal with the ball. There's Denise Barry. Young star for South Hamilton. Five feet eleven. Only 14 years old. Putting the ball through the hoop. 25 to 16. Minneapolis with it. Schmeiser underneath. Back out to Sheridan. Very flat shot. That one didn't even look like it was going to clear the ring, but it dropped right through like a bomb. 27 to 16. Jerry Hanson. Followed through by Denise Berry is good. Direction Tyler. Got that one. 12 points for Tyler now. Sheridan. Over to Mahaffey. Paulson with the rebound for South Hamilton. Two and a half minutes to go in the first half. Hanson with the ball for South Hamilton. Sharon Tyler. Tyler down the lane, and that one was a tough looker. Wishmeyer with the ball for Minneapolis. Mahaffey to Sheridan. Schmeiser. Sheridan. Not quite enough poop on that shot, I guess. Across the line. South Hamilton with it. Sharon Tyler. Tyler has it. Hanson. Perry and Hanson playing catch. Tyler with the ball. Goes over to retrieve it. Hanson. 146 left to play in the half. Tyler. Another good one for Tyler. Sharon now has 14 points. 27 to 20. Ball in the forecourt. Sheridan has it batted away, and it is stolen away. Beautiful steal out there by Joanne Hanson. Now the ball is stolen back, or they try to get it back, and Wishmeyer picks up her third foul. Three fouls now on the postcard of Minneapolis, Cheryl Wishmeyer. Nadine Caldwell was in the backcourt, the tournament queen. 
Voted queen of the tournament. She now goes out. Wiggins comes back in. All right, the shot no good. Rebound by Minneapolis. Bullets have it in four court. Sheridan. Sheridan's only five feet four. She got a lot of reach disadvantage. Sheridan goes in. The shot is blocked by Donna Paulson. Goes out of bounds. It'll be played in by Mahaffey of Minneapolis. Sheridan. Exactly one minute to play in the half. Nancy Sheridan. It's a long one. Mahaffey quickly has the rebound underneath the Spicer. This time the rebound picked up by Joanne Hanson. And they tie it up. It'll be a jump. Between Sherry Hanson and Mary Jo Wigan. Tyler. Shot partially blocked. Minneapolis with the rebound in four courts. 35 seconds to play in the half. I was just going to try one last shot if they get a chance to. 29 seconds to play. Out of bounds. Happy throws it in. Sheridan. Over to Schmeiser. Sheridan. Schmeiser. Schmeiser picks up a 14 points. 29 to 20 score with 14 seconds to play. Tyler. Underneath, Joyce Campbell picks up the rebound for Minneapolis. Three seconds. Schmeiser shoots and almost makes it. And so the half comes to an end with the score. Minneapolis 29, South Hamilton 20. We'll be back. percent from the field in the first half on 8 out of 28, while Minneapolis connected on 12 of 30 for 40 percent. Sharon Tyler and Kathy Schmeiser lead their respective teams with 14 points each, but the defense has dominated, and the 1-2 offensive punch of Minneapolis has made the difference in the front courts. Now the third quarter, with Minneapolis leading 29 to 20. On the left side, Denise Berry off the bracket, and giving her just one shot there as the rebound is pulled in by Joyce Campbell. Nancy Sheridan, Miser, ball rolled up and out and then back through again. And it's an 11 point lead now, 31 to 20 for Minneapolis. Tyler, Tyler trying that baseline shot and getting no place and Campbell getting the ball away from her. Sheridan. Miser short with her shot. Number 30, Joanne Hanson with the rebound. Tyler. Hanson. Tyler. Back to Hanson again. Hanson doing a good job of rebounding her own shot. Denise Berry. Over the top and down and into the arms of Joyce Campbell. Picked off by Berry. Picked right back again by Minneapolis, and they're going to get the ball in front court. Nancy Sheridan will throw it in. Ball is stolen away. A beautiful job of intercepting there by Joanne Hanson, but a traveling violation is called on Sharon Tyler. Line violation. Minneapolis with the ball in four court. South Hamilton guards coming out much more now than they were in the first half. Mahaffey. Here's Sheridan with it. Over to Schmeiser. Mahaffey. And a foul called on Joanne Hanson in the guard court of South Hamilton. That's her third foul. Schmeiser at the line. Minneapolis leading 31 to 20. One shot. Thirty-two to twenty, Minneapolis. South Hamilton. Debbie Flags at number forty. Takes it over to Joanne Hanson, number thirty. Ball is tipped out of bounds by Minneapolis.
Joanne Hanson. Jerry Hanson, rather, we should say. Jerry with the ball. Tyler. Once again, uh, some ice cold shooting is causing South Hamilton problems out there. Rebound, Cheryl Wishmeyer. Sheridan. A happy, Wishmeyer. Back to Nancy Sheridan. Both teams cold on their shooting. South Hamilton now back in four court. Tyler. Rebounds her on shot. Hanson. The amazing part of this game is how cold uh, they are tonight in comparison to what they did in other games. Here's Sheridan underneath and a foul on number 30, Joanne Hanson. Schmeiser will be at the line. Four fouls on Hanson. Schmeiser gets two. 33 to 20 in favor of Minneapolis. Schmeiser now has 18 points. And the rebound picked off by Hanson. Scott Hamilton in four court. Tyler to Hanson. Tyler. Still can't quite find the range. Campbell. Stolen back again by South Hamilton. Hanson doing a very alert job back there. Denise Berry finally scores. 33 to 22. Minneapolis by 11. 440 left to go in the third period. Sheridan. Miser. Whistle blows and a foul called on number 54, Donna Paulson. First foul on Paulson. Miser at the line gets one. She's been cold at the free throw line. Flagstead with the rebound over to Hanson. Jerry Hanson. Denise Berry. With the tap and down. Well, Hamilton still with the ball. Tyler. Tyler just can't buy a bucket out there right now. Mediapolis, Mahaffey over to Sheridan, back to Mahaffey again, now to Sheridan. And it's a blocking foul on Flagstaff. Foul on Flagstaff. That's their second. Sheridan puts it through the hoop. Three forty have to go in this period. Thirty-four to twenty-two score. Minneapolis in front. Hanson. Tyler. Hanson. Here's Barry with the ball. The shot is blocked and a foul called. On number twenty-three, Mary Jo Wigan. Three fouls on her. Hanson will be shooting the free throw. Gets two. Foul in the act of shooting. Hanson has three points so far. 34 to 23, 11 point lead for Minneapolis. Wishmeyer across the line, the ball knocked out of bounds by Denise Berry. Now the ball is stolen back again by South Hamilton. Flagstead came up with it. Barry, back to Tyler. Hanson at the line. Joyce Campbell with the rebound for Minneapolis. Sheridan on about a 20-foot shot connects. 36 to 23, a 13-point lead for Minneapolis. 2:54 left to go, third period. Sharon Tyler back to Sherry Hanson to Tyler. Hanson. 
Denise Ferry. Hanson with the ball now to Tyler. Jump is called. Tyler drives down the lane. Joyce Campbell will jump against her. Wichmeyer grabs the tip. Minneapolis with it. Sheridan. Not happy. Play catch with it. Not happy and Sheridan. 2.20 left to go in the third period. Schmeiser. Bucket won't count. And foul number five called on Joanne Hanson. Schmeiser will shoot the one and one. 2.12 to play in the third period. Picked up by the girl who committed the foul, Joanne Hanson. They get into four court and Sherry Hanson trying a shot over. Kathy Bow, B O E, is now in there, number 44, in forward court for South Hamilton. Thirty-six to twenty-three score. And Minneapolis has the rebound, and it is a foul call on Cheryl Wishmeyer, number five on Cheryl Wishmeyer. Two oh one to play third period. We've seen Nadine Caldwell now, the tournament queen, number twenty-five, coming in replacing Wishmeyer. Thirty-six to twenty-four. Kathy Bowles. Minneapolis with the ball in four court. Sheridan. Nancy Sheridan comes through. Thirty-eight to twenty-four. Sheridan now has fifteen points. Tyler. Back to Bowles. Ball out of bounds. It'll be Minneapolis, I believe, down court. It will. Caldwell will throw it in. Campbell, to Caldwell, to Sheridan. A minute and a half to go in the third period. Back to Sheridan again. Rebound, South Hamilton. Where can you get it out of back court? Down to Paulson. Over to Flagstead. Very aggressive guarding by the Minneapolis forward, slowing down a bit. So into the post, and now it is a charging foul. Called on Jerry Hanson. Offensive foul. So the Minneapolis guards have it. Called well, way across the line, out of Sheridan. 59 seconds to go in the third period. The ball stolen away, stolen back again. A happy to Sheridan. Miser. Miser has her shot blocked. And a foul called on Donna Paulson. Two fouls on Paulson, the postcard of South Hamilton. Two shots coming in. Thirty-nine to twenty-four, Minneapolis leading. Forty-nine seconds to play in the third period. Nineteen points for Schmeiser so far. Biggest lead of the game, 16 points. Minneapolis ahead. Kathy Bowl, number 44. Tyler. And finally, Sherry Hanson gets in underneath, lays it through. 40 to 26, 29 seconds to play in the third quarter. Sheridan to Schmeiser. Back to Sheridan. Be a jump. Tied up. 
Kathy Schmeiser jumping against uh, Flagstaff. Sheridan has it. Inside layup uh, by Mahaffey, and the rebound picked up by Paulson. Tyler with the ball. And there's the end of the third quarter. With the score, Minneapolis 40, South Hamilton 26. Minneapolis outscored South Hamilton 11 to 6 in the third quarter, and the brilliant defensive play of Joyce Campbell, Cheryl Wishmeyer, and the rest of the Minneapolis guard court is making itself felt. Sharon Tyler was held without a point in the third quarter and still has just 14 for the game. Now, the fourth quarter. Fourth and final quarter. Minneapolis leading by 14. South Hamilton had the ball in the third quarter at the end of it, so they will have possession here now. Kathy Bow, number 44. Back to her again. Giving him just one shot. Nadine Caldwell off with it. Sheridan. Tries to throw into Schmeiser. Sheridan has it again. Out to Schmeiser. Ball stolen away by some very aggressive guarding. South Hamilton now with the ball in four courts. Debbie Larson now playing in the backcourt for South Hamilton. Down with the ball is Caldwell. Wigand across the line. Sheridan. Schmeiser to Sheridan. Both teams pretty cold. That's Debbie Larson getting the rebound. Five foot nine inch sophomore. Makes a save on the ball. It's stolen right back by Schmeiser. Sheridan has it. Out to Schmeiser. Sheridan. Kathy Schmeiser. And it rolls through. And Minneapolis now leading 42 to 26. 22 points for Schmeiser. Kathy Bow. Scott Hamilton made only six points in the third period. Tyler to Bow. To Tyler. Tyler tries the shot. Caldwell rebound. 6.25 to play. Mahaffey with the ball for Minneapolis to Schmeiser. To Sheridan. Mahaffey. To Sheridan. Foul is called on Debbie Larson. During the regular season, South Hamilton had an offensive average of 72.6. Minneapolis had a defensive average of 37. So something had to give in this ball game, and so far it's been the Minneapolis defense that has been very, very stingy. We're in the fourth quarter, and South Hamilton has just 26 points. Sheridan at the line makes it 43 to 26. 16 points for Sheridan. South Hamilton on the rebound. Larson across the line. Kathy Schmeiser. South Hamilton. Still trying to get some scoring points in there. Gary Hanson. Couldn't get the rebound. Taken away by Caldwell. 540 left to play. Sheridan to Schmeiser. And the shot is blocked. Traveling called on Sheridan. Forty-three to twenty-six. Sharon Tyler has failed to score here so far in the second half. Ball stolen back again by Minneapolis. Sheridan makes it look easy. Canning went to the top of the circle. Forty-five to twenty-six. Hanson trying a layup that time and a foul called on Caldwell. Hanson will be at the line. Karen Tyler averaged close to 43 points a game during the season. Her old team right now is just 26.
45 to 27. Hanson's at the line. Forty-five to twenty-eight, five oh nine to play. Joyce Campbell with a ball for Minneapolis. Caldwell. Ball stolen away. Coming up with it, Flagstead. Tyler. Correction, not Tyler, but Hanson. Tyler comes in, and Hanson is fouled by Caldwell. Nadine Caldwell. At the line, Hanson shoots and scores. Rebounded by Hanson. Follow through by Denise Berry, or correction by Tyler, we should say. Follow by Joyce Campbell, that's her first. Cheryl Wishmeyer coming in for Nadine Caldwell. Wishmeyer was named to the all-tournament team from Minneapolis. We'll list this team for you in just a moment. Tyler at the line. 45 to 30, Minneapolis leading by 15. Tyler gets her first two points of the second half. Wigand with the ball into the forecourt now for Minneapolis. Mahaffey plays catch over there with Sheridan. 4.42 to play. Schmeiser with the ball. Kathy Schmeiser picking up her 24th point. 47 to 31. Tyler. Tyler with the ball again. And she scores. Darren Tyler. Now in the forecourt of Minneapolis. Miser over to Nancy Sheridan. Sheridan with the ball. Miser. Miser shoots and scores. Ada Rood is now in the lineup. For South Hamilton. Hanson back to Rood. Foul called on Tyler. As Cheryl Wishmeyer came down with a rebound. 327 to play. Minneapolis, 49. South Hamilton, 33. Kathy Jensen comes in at uh, post guard for South Hamilton. Nancy Sheridan shoots and scores. Jensen is six feet tall. She's 16 years old in 11th grade. Jensen with a rebound. Score is 50 to 33, a 17-point margin for Minneapolis with three minutes and 19 seconds to play. Hanson to Tyler. Forcing him to shoot from way outside and then giving him just that one shot. Wishmeyer with the ball. Wigan passes over to Mahaffey. Sheridan. Schmeiser. Back to Sheridan again. Now the whistle blows and it is another foul on South Hamilton on Jensen. 50 to 33. Tremendous defensive performance here by Minneapolis. One and one shot. Miser hits it. Now has 27 points. 51 to 33. Jensen with the rebound and a foul called on Sheridan. First foul on Nancy. 
Jaron Tyler will be at the line. Tyler has not had a field goal in the second half. We incorrectly uh, credited her with one a few moments ago that actually was rude shooting. Tyler at the line. She has four free throws now in the second half. 51 to 35. Minneapolis and Killand here. 226 to play. Wishmeyer. Campbell to Wishmeyer. Back to Cheryl Wishmeyer across the line. Two minutes and nine seconds. Mahaffey. South Hamilton picking up the rebound. Debbie Larson to Flagstaff. Tyler. Back to Tyler. Still does not uh, have that field goal. Still can't get it. Joyce Campbell with the rebound. A minute and 41 seconds. Wagand with the ball. Campbell. Sheridan. A happy. Back to Sheridan. Whistle blows. And a foul is called on Sheridan. That's foul number two on Sheridan. Sheridan goes out of the game. She's crying, but I think she's crying tears of happiness. Number 15. Coming in for Minneapolis. Mary McElhaney. Sharon Tyler goes out of the lineup for South Hamilton, a very unhappy young lady. We have a minute 21 seconds to play. Rude in there for South Hamilton. for the rebound and it is going to be awarded out of bounds. Now they're bringing in all the subs now. Here come all the subs from Minneapolis. And these gals are mighty happy. We'll be down on the floor interviewing them after the ball game. 103 to play. Caldwell with the ball. Minneapolis. Now they put it in four court. Barb Reeb, number 45. The gals are all pretty excited when they get in toward the end of the ball game. Pat Jan is in there. Rude tries the shot. Up on the rebound by South Hamilton. And timeout. Let's see. They're going to call timeout. Now they're waiting uh, just to get some more subs in. 51 to 35. Called with uh, 21 seconds to go, 51 to 35, Minneapolis. Now the uh, 21 seconds to go, and a complete lineup of subs now for both teams. Debbie Larson, number 14, guarding out there. Number 33, Kathy Schrock, with the ball to play. It's loose. 15 seconds to go. Down Hamilton with the ball in four court. Eight seconds to play. Minneapolis fans can hardly wait for those eight seconds to kick off. 
And they're going to water it out of bounds again. Seven seconds to go. Minneapolis has it all wrapped up. Their first state tournament title. Intercepted by South Hamilton again. Four seconds. Three, two, one, zero. And South Hamilton and Minneapolis battle it out. Minneapolis winning 51 to 35. Minneapolis with 29 straight games. There you have it. The championship game of Iowa girls high school basketball for 1967. And what a great victory for the girls from Minneapolis who came to town unbeaten and go back the same way. Triumphant champions. Kathy Schmeiser led the Minneapolis scoring with 27 points and Nancy Sheridan had 19. But it was the Bullets defense that really won the game. Holding a great star like Sharon Tyler to just four free throws for the second half and a total of 18 points for the game. Now the presentation of trophies. Mr. Burl Donald of Plainfield, president of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union, introduces the teams and players while Mr. E. Wayne Cooley, Executive Secretary of the Union, makes the awards. Runner-up in the state free throw contest, Carol Holtkamp of Winfield Mount Union, who made 23 of 25 and won a shoot-off to take second place. Winner of the state free throw contest, Sharon Tyler, the great all-round performer from South Hamilton, who made 24 of 25 to take the title. Fourth place team, Carlisle, a scrappy, hustling ball club that made it to state on a 21 and two record. Third place team, Everly, a convincing winner over Carlisle, 76 to 46, behind the 50 point shooting of Jeanette Olson, who incidentally is only a junior. Second place, the girls from South Hamilton, a fighting gang of youngsters from a town noted for great basketball. They gave their fans a tremendous season and coming back from the brink of adversity to make it all the way to the championship. And the jubilant girls from Minneapolis, who made up their minds early in the season, they were good enough to go all the way and then went out and proved it. Championships for Southern Iowa teams have been few and far between in recent years, but the defensive performance turned in by these girls tonight ranks with the best ever seen at state, regardless of location. That's it for 1967. The championship game is now history, but another great tournament is coming up next year. We hope that you'll be there to enjoy it with us. Good luck, and so long till then.